Hi viewers and dear students, welcome to my channel ICG Active Learners. Uh, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe it because there will be some very important information and videos for you to learn the Cambridge content. So here today I am going to explain the May June 2020 paper 31 web page part. So in this part of the question paper they say it before I continue with the web page I need to create a word process document to prepare it as an evidence document and I am going to name it as they have mentioned and then followed by my candidate number. So we'll open a word document here and it's a blank document will insert the details like my name then my center number and then candidate number and then after file save it as with the file name and on this top I have a folder already here this one will just save it with the candidate number that's it oh, yeah click save and that's all so once it is saved now you have to do what you are going to create a web page and edit a style sheet for Tawara gaming computers the web page and style sheet must work in any browser all color code must be in hexadecimal make sure that your style sheet contain no HTML code so first of all you need to create a folder with the TGC so I'm going to create a folder here with the name called TGC it is done now next step is to locate the following files into it so we will open this document we'll get these all files and get only the files as they have mentioned so we'll copy them and then we'll go to desktop to paste it into the folder we have created just now so they are six files so yes they need these six files then after display the content of your tgc folder showing the folder name file name extension image dimension and field file size so here we need to click on the view and i'm going to click on content here so all the details are visible well, print screen and the evidence document is here. I'm just going to type here evidence one. So that's the evidence one. Now, if you require, you just crop it. Make sure your folder name is not cropped, just like that. Next step is create a web page called tgc.htm so here i'm going to open the program web expression and i'm going to create a folder call of a web page called tgc.htm so it will take a while to open the web expression program and then we'll continue to create a table as they have mentioned so i'm going to save this web page the name called TGC and then we'll go to the folder and desktop and we'll save it over there the web page is created now next step is to in this web page you need to create a table with a structure like this so it contain one two three four rows and three columns so we'll click on table insert table with four rows and three columns now we need to adjust because we need to merge these two cells right click modify and merge cells and on the top row all three cells need to be merged select them all right click modify and choose option called merge cells that's all now this one cell uh, height and width is given so first is width second one is height 
and all these details uh, each table cell is identified with the letter or dimension are in pixels the letters and dimension shown in the table must not appear on your final web page preview and the table shows the spacing between cells which will be set when your style sheet is edited in step 10. So first of all we need to start editing of our uh, the cells height and width. Now right click here cell properties. So this cell must be 750 wide in pixels 750 wide and height is 100 pixels apply and ok then this one is 260 into 470 right click and 260 into 470 click on apply and ok and then the remaining this says 25 225 into 225 so we'll move a little bit here one two three four and scroll down this one also so we'll choose from here cell property and then we'll choose from here two to five into two to five Plan ok and then we scroll down to the last cell here towards the left even yeah this is done and then they mention here this one must be 260 into 225 right click and then cell property 260 into 225 apply and ok so that is done now next step is to the table must not appear in the final web table borders they said now here enter in cell a text Tawara computer gaming so here Tawara computer gaming in h1 style so click here and choose from here adding style 1 and then place in cell b the image 2031 logo here in this cell this is our cell b yes so we need to include the picture just click here then insert a picture from file desktop we'll go to tgc folder and the picture 2031 logo that's it and alternate text for example that is logo click on ok picture is inserted next step in cell c a picture 2031 proc.png so our cell c is here this is our cell c so we'll move here and then insert a picture from file and proc so that is processor actually and i'm going to write here processor just an alternate text and then in cell uh, e we need board so cell e is here this is our cell e just to cross check yes it is cell e so insert a picture from file and we'll choose from here board and that is for example mother board click on ok and next step you need to go down to the next step here you are yes in cell h you need to insert before that i continue with this one i would like to uh, mention the uh, picture size here 22 to 5 so this picture is very big right click picture property and then appearance and I will make this one 225 so that at least it fit in the web page so it will help me to move forward easily and then we need uh, in cell H the image called uh, water 2031 water insert picture 
and then water. So that is water alternate text. So it is done now. And next step is you need to cross check for each picture size if it's 225. So I'm not going to I just cross check in here. So it is already 225. This one is uh, also 225. That's it. Next step place in cell D processor. So we'll copy this one and we'll paste here processor and then motherboard. So we'll just mention here motherboard and then after water cooling system. And then these all text must be in H2 font. So we'll choose this one and then I will choose from here format h2 fine next step is enter in cell g the text last edited by and then after you need to enter your name center number candidate number in h3 so first of all i need to cross check here cell g yeah this is my cell g here here it is just under the picture of TGC logo so then after we will type my name center number and candidate number and then after I need to make this one as H3 so adding style H3 and then the next step is add appropriate alternate text to all images which I have already done so in this case now you have to move forward to attach the style sheet to your web page so here attach a style sheet to your web page browse go to desktop to your folder and attach a style sheet to it so now your web page look like this save your web page fine i will click on save moving forward open the style sheet 2031 tgc so i will click on open and then we'll open the style sheet as we have this one now we need to improve it how we need to edit it all table border have width of zero and grid lines are separated all spacing cell spacing within the table is set to 20 pixels the background color of the table is black all data are centered in line in the browser there is no cell padding so we need to edit our style sheet now so for editing the style sheet i need to uh, just open first of all the site sheet and then make the changes so how we we'll make these changes if you look at the so already we have text line middle and center we need to improve it a little bit more like for example first of all uh, border yeah border collapse need to be collapse so this property and then it must be collapse and oh sorry that must be separate because in the final preview it should look like that and then after we have the border width as they mentioned so I'm going to choose here a zero pixel that's it semicolon to another property and then they have mentioned here the cell uh, border spacing 20 pixel as they said so we'll just mention here border yeah we'll choose here option spacing and that is only 20 uh, pixel semicolon and then they mention here that we need the color background color of the table is black so here we we'll just type background 
color and then we'll choose option called black but if you just type here the code for the black that would be much better so hash and then after black means red green blue all zero zero that's it and what has they said the table is center aligned in the browser the table must be center aligned so here we just mentioned here margin uh, left so auto and then semicolon margin right and that must be auto as well so that will jump from this part of the style sheet and then as we have done this one we need to do the same for the table data for padding only uh, zero pixels zero pixels and then close yeah this is done with the td also now next is the background image we want to repeat so for this one i can just go to format and choose from here new style and body yes and then we want background and image and then we choose the image called bg this one apply and ok so this is our background image and that uh, they said let it be repeated as well so just click here and then if you want to edit the style you can just click here and modify style and then as you have already chosen the background sorry not this one here you click here then body modify and then choose from here the background and the option repeat so repeat apply and ok that is done next step you want we want h1 h2 are green with no red no blue component and have a font so these things are common so we are going to do this one all together here for h1 and h2 and h3 so we'll just mention h1 then uh, a comma h2 comma h3 and we'll choose here the color so i will just mention here color they want only uh, green so it means red and blue is zero so r g is full and green is absent uh, blue is absent semicolon and then after font family here the font family that they want it is c c group print yeah we'll just tap here yeah, we'll type exactly as they want SEG and that is OE OE and then a space print and that must be in the uh, speech marks here just like that and we'll proceed to the next and then if it is not available comma word then they say it yeah so we just uh, type there Vardana and then if it is not available then any sans serif font choose this one and that's all then next point is h1 36 h2 14 so we'll do that now h1 yeah so h1 we want the font size font size and we'll choose from here 36 pt 36 point semicolon and uh, we'll just even close it without that yeah and then after we have uh, h2 so the font uh, size first the font size 
we want this one to be 14 pt and then it must be uh, alignment is there also left align so we just mention here that text align to the left that's it and then end up with the semicolon and the next step is the h3 must be right align and 12 point so you just copy this one and then paste it as well change this one to h3 and then the size is 12 and then here it is right in line that's all so that's all from the um, style sheet then you have to add your name center number candidate number as a comment at the end so here I'm going to add my name and center number so we'll just mention here uh, on 032 and 0297 and then with the star and a backslash and then they said you need to save this style sheet into your spreadsheet so just in the folder click on save and now you need to take a screenshot of your um, this uh, style sheet so print screen and then go here and this is your evidence tool evidence tool that's all and if you would like to crop it even you just crop it as well just like that if you want to make this one bigger you can just make it as well so that's it one thing that i have made a mistake here i did not put the hash symbol here that is very very important if you did not then you will be having problems so again print screen and then we'll just remove this one and we'll paste with the hash symbol so there will be no errors when it is applied to the web page it is already attached to the web page but then there will be no issues at, at all now they say display the web page into the web browser so we have already the web page here and i'm going to click on file review the web page into the internet explorer so when it is previewed it will look like this yes here close this one we don't need and then you can make this one bigger as well like for example like this and then make the contents here just like that okay now you can click on print screen and save this one as your evidence tree that's all and then crop it moving forward to the next step that to display the HTML source so we'll go to the web page and code and we'll select this all copy and we'll just paste it as our evidence for So this is your evidence for and that's all from the web page part of this question paper you need to print your evidence document so hope you have learned how to create the web page and how to edit them by using web expression program and how you can make your style sheet as well so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates